What's up guys? Welcome back to Girl Jazz. And as you can say, see, I've got the Witch Please shake from Jack in the Box. Yes, I had to say it like that. And then I've got the Monster Mummy taco. Let's see, we're gonna start with the taco. First of all, I love the packaging. That is too cute. A little early for Halloween, but you know, all the holidays are getting rushed together now. All right, we've got Looks like some bacon in there with some melted cheese. We're gonna open this up. Looks like the regular taco inside, so I'm guessing that's what makes it the mumminess of it all was the wrapped in the flour tortilla. Let's try it out. Mm. That's good. A little too cheesy. Yes, believe it or not, something can actually be a little too cheesy. I think it needs a little bit more meat. But let me take another bite out of it, just in case, because we know that the closer you get to the middle, because that's where all the, the good stuff is. Let's see. Mm. I'm making a mess over here, my bad. Yeah, I need a little bit more meat on that one. I mean, it's okay. Can you tell? <laughs> That's pretty good. I love that crunchiness of the taco shell. And then, of course, you got the tortilla to kind of make sure nothing falls out, pretty much. <laughs> and it holds up together as well. So I think it's kind of just like a little extra netting. That you have so make sure that all the good stays all the good stuff stays in the middle now we're going to go ahead and move on to the which please milkshake <laughs> i like saying that also i was going to mention the tortilla is very soft and fluffy i'm pleasantly surprised all right we're going to go this is supposed to be ube and the very first time I ever had it was at uh, Jollibee's. I had to think about it for a second. <clears throat> I should have known better because uh, Jasmine absolutely loves that place. And I actually introduced her to the ube fruit pie that they have. So this is supposed to be ube. So it's kind of like a sweet potato, like especially like with the texture on it. So we're going to try this out. It is mixed with Oreos as well, as you can see on top. If you can look closely enough, I'm not sure how well it's going to show. You can actually see where the ube mix was mixed in. You can see some of the white vanilla ice cream shining through. But I don't care about what it looks like. I care about what it tastes like. Okay, I do sometimes care about what it looks like. Mmm. <laughs> okay. I wasn't thinking that the ube flavor was gonna be super strong, but I'm trying to think of, it kind of tastes like it has a cotton candy sweetness to it, mixed with the Oreo flavor. This is pleasant, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I thought it was gonna be more about the coloring, but the flavor really pops. I will go ahead and put this disclosure on there. Not every Jack in the Box is gonna make it the same. So just, I could go maybe five minutes down the street and find another Jack in the Box and it may be very weak in flavor. So I will say that with the with a big disclaimer. Mm. So next time I'll be saying, uh, which please? Can I have another one? <laughs> this is actually really good. Like I said, it's very sweet, kind of ca cotton candy-ish flavor. I'm trying to give you guys, you know, so you guys can imagine what it tastes like. Um, it may not be exactly cotton candy, but it has that heightened sweetness, if you guys, if that makes sense to you guys. Mm. And of course, you got a little bit of Oreos mixed in there to add that little bit of crunch to it. Yeah, definitely worth it. You guys got to go try check this out. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my taco, and I got, I'll see you guys later. As always, stay tuned, stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys.